It's so cute. I love her colours and she likes to roll on the floor. Alice LPS Hey everyone, and today I'm going to be reviewing this brand new Lilith's Pet Shop Scottish Fold Cat. It is so cute! We don't have the new LPS in the UK, but recently I went to Disneyland in Paris and I found the new LPS in France in a grocery store. It was great! And I bought her and she is so cute! Oh, they have the new one! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, they have this one! She's cute! Why aren't you getting her? Look, we have a Scottish Fold! Oh god, she's adorable, Alice. You need her. Oh, this one's cute. This though. one's way cute, guys. This one's cute, Tell though. Alice that hedgehogs are Oh no, this is cute. <laughs> They've never made an LPS Scottish Fold cat before, and if you don't know what that kind of cat looks like, there's a picture of it. They are adorable, and I want all of them. And I'm glad they made Scottish Fold as a Lilith's Pet Shop mold. Ooh. But before we open her up, let's take a close look at her packaging. They have changed up the packaging for the new wave of LPS. They're not even new wave, they're just new. They've changed everything for this year. On the front here, there are some square designs in pink and purple. I don't know where they've done the paneling, not too sure there. And on the left, there is a cat with a floppy tail, a small like blind bag cat, and then a regular cat. I guess it kind of shows the different LPS that they make. She's called Alabaster Scottish Fold 65, so they started the numbers from the beginning again. Since the numbers have gone back to normal, are these considered G5? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Are these the new wave or are they just a new version of the old ones? I think they're G5. I don't know. Let me know. And on the back, there's a ton of warnings in different languages and some information. And on the side here, it shows some of the other LPS in the wave. The numbers are in different order, which is kind of strange. The first one is number 83 and it's a tan collie dog. Then there's a little hermit crab that's number 52. And then there's 62, which is kind of like a fairy or a dragonfly or something, I'm not too sure. And number 44 is this adorable Cocker Spaniel, and I really want this one, she looks super cute. It says collect them all, and then it looks patch up, and yeah. Yep. But for me, the biggest difference in the packaging is the fact that the heads are exposed like this, you can see them bobble. Whereas comparing her to an older packaging, you can kind of see the difference. You can see how on the old one here it's encased fully, so you can't actually see like how bobbly it is but this one you can actually feel the head and like make it bobble in the store I guess the pros of this is you know the pet you're buying has like a good bobble but the cons are like the heads are gonna get really scuffed up like on the shelves or like people might dig their nails into them and you won't be able to fix that since this pet is like a white cream color I made sure I got one which wasn't like really dirty and I like went through all of them to pick the best one um, but I, I'm not a huge fan of this new design, uh, I, don't, I don't know. What do you guys think of the new packaging? Let me know in the comments below. I kind of feel like they're just trying to use the least amount of plastic as possible, but who knows. But while I've got this one here, I guess we'll compare them side by side. You can see they've like made it a bit smaller um, and it kind of leans forward a bit more. Like it's a bit more top heavy. Like. But they were definitely going for a similar style with the packaging. They've changed up the placement of these on the side here. But I guess they've made that so you can cut this out and then you can take it on the go with you like a little shopping list, which is kind of cool. I kind of like that idea. Um, and on the front, I kind of prefer the design of this one because it looks like the pet is in its house or something. This one is kind of a bit random, got some pets on the side here. But I do like the colours on this one, it's kind of cute. They've also removed the whole like category idea, you know how this one's got a bow and this one doesn't have anything, she's just in like the cat category I think because on the side here they have like aquatics, bugs, dogs, I think they've changed that up but I guess they'll have that written in the new checklist which we'll check out in a second. Put this one to the side and I guess we'll go ahead and unbox her. Let's take her out. Ba, ba, ba. Well, these ones are so much easier to open. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's like Hasbro watched my videos or something. And I guess she just slides out. She's, oh, she's rubber banded in. Okay, okay. She's a bit of a struggle. Let's take these out. Okay. Here she is out of the box and she looks so adorable. But first, let's take a quick look at the checklist and whatever this is. I think this is, I think this is just like a little warning thing. Like, small parts don't choke yeah and this one here is the checklist 
I also noticed that um, on the packaging of these ones, they usually come with little accessories. The new ones don't come with any accessories. Um, so I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. I like the idea of them having something to play along with. But I'm glad they got rid of the little peg holes on the ears and stuff. Like, they don't have those stupid little holes anymore. Let's open the checklist. Oh, this is colourful. Look at all these. Look at her. Who is she? <laughs> oh, wow, there's more. Oh, I like this. Okay, the checklist has really changed. It's like a long sheet instead of a giant pamphlet. So let's take a read. At the top here, it has a little picture with a ton of LPS like sprawled out, which is a really nice touch, and it fades into the logo there. And it says you can basically track your pets. So it's like a checklist. So let's see what the new LPS are. We have this cute little crocodile which lies down and a little baby chameleon. <gasps> that is kind of cute. I do like her. In the reptiles category, I do like the new category system. It really works well. In the aquatic, we have the same crab and then these two little fish. In the birds, there is this swan, this little baby one, a little peacock and an owl. In the category... <laughs> <laughs> in the kitty cats we have the cute one we have today and these purple ones there's a lot of cats and they're all different they're all different molds that's kind of cool and here we have the dogs they have reused a couple of like molds like this one here for the wolf and i think these ones are reused um but they've made a new little collie a new dash hound a little bulldog and this fluffy one here oh this chihuahua is kind of cute as well hmm then we have these like wild animals, I think so. Oh, look at the moose. <gasps> that one's really cute. There is only one in the bug. Oh, that's kind of sad. And they have like animals on the four hooves, I guess. And then they have bunny rabbits. But without further ado, let's take a closer look at our little Scottish Fold friend. They chose such perfect colours for her. Her eyes have this really pretty teal blue light green and then this dark teal colour. and. They're kind of a sticker, but they're also quite shiny, so it's kind of a mix of the old style and the new. Another thing they've added for these new pets, there is no longer the LPS mark printed on, they're all embossed. So I'm guessing this is a new style for them, and I do kind of like it, but I think it might make it easier for people to fake them on eBay and stuff, which is kind of a problem, but we'll see when the time comes. Since she is a Scottish Fold, her ears are flopped down like that, super cute. And for the new pets, they've decided to go for like a gradient airbrush look. So her muzzle has this little airbrush look to it and her ears have that same colour on them. She also has these fancy little lines going up her face there, which are really cute. And she has a tiny little pink nose. It's so cute. They've used the same rubbery um, head from the older style, which does make her a little bit top heavy. Um, but it's really nice. It's just kind of... It feels dense and kind of rubbery like the old style and the body is the same and the body is the same plastic as the older style as well but the mold is super cute she has this swirly little tail and she's just kind of like in between sitting and lying down just being a lazy little cat she is just so cute I think it would look really nice if they gave her a little gradient on the end of her tail there I feel like that would have rounded it all in a bit or maybe um, they painted the backs of the ears grey as well that might make it look a little bit better but I think she is super cute and I love her little look oh she is so cute now we've taken a closer look at her let's compare her to the other LPS cats they haven't made any Scottish folds before but I'll just compare her to the nearest thing the shorthead cats I've decided to compare her to this one because it's white and has like a little gradient on it and this one because it has the lines on its face. The Scottish Fold's face is similar in the round shape but on the side it's a little less flat and you can see its nose a lot more which is really cute. I do like her face. Also since she's a Scottish Fold her ears are pinned down but that's just how they're meant to look. It's really cute. I feel like her body has more of a cat shape to it even though I do love the short head cats. Like, their body is kind of not like a cat. Like, why are their front feet so big? I don't really know. But we all know and love them just for being a short head cat. But I do love the new base. I feel like the new base is a lot more cat-like. And same with the tail. It kind of swirls like that. But I do love the short head cats just because they're the classic short head cats. You can't beat the originals, I guess. But this is getting close. It is so cute. I love her colours and she likes to roll on the floor. 
I think she would make a great like younger sister character and I feel like the newer LPS could also fit in older LPS videos because having something like this next to the older LPS, um, they look a bit different. It's just a bit. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I, I guess I'm using her as my mascot today. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what you think of the newer, newer, newer LPS. I think they are really, really adorable and I think they'll be great to play with. Also let me know of the new LPS which ones you would like to see me review. Let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!